let's look at measuring thio characteristic and again we'll start in LT spice for this video and then finish it in scopey for the second now what we are going to do is we have a 5 volt power supply here and that's even though scopey has power supplies we're going to take it from channel 1 we have the series resistance and we're going to measure the voltage across the diode from 1 plus to 1 minus again you can only have one uh, node name and so the one minus is is uh, actual text and then we're going to measure from two plus to two minus now in a normal oscilloscope the every channel would be with respect to ground and so I could measure from here I could measure this to ground and then here to ground and if I wanted this dial voltage I would then have to mathematically manipulate it so if I run this all right we see that the channel 1 is at 5 volts we see that the voltage across the diode is 3.41 and that the voltage across the resistor is 1.059 volts now that can be converted to current by dividing by 100 so that's 10 milliamps now this is not our our red LED that gives us the uh, 20 milliamp 2 volt operating point but you get the idea now let's make a curve tracer out of it so the only thing I've done instead of having it a DC I'm just I've got a triangle wave from minus 0.25 to 2.5 and again it's at 100 Hertz everything else is the same and what I'm going to do is measure here which again is being measured with respect to ground now if I want it across the diode all I have to do is put a comma 2 plus now yeah it really should be um, 1 minus right but um, the 1 minus isn't referenced in this simulation so that's the, the the voltage across the diode right now in LT spice if I want the current I can just click on it like that however this is giving us the current but it's on a different scale and notice that in time it's increasing exponentially that's because the input is increasing and there's a exponential increase in a dial voltage. Now I can actually see both by adding a plot plane and okay so we're going from negative 2 in time up to plus 2 in time so it's the voltage is increasing from 0 uh, uh, from minus 0.25 to 2.5 in even steps of time so this is like a linear progression and then we're getting an exponential growth so it, it looks like a dial but it doesn't quite look like a curve tracer so if I right click on that axis I can actually change it to So now this is being plotted against itself, and so it's just a line. We can delete the trace, and then delete. The th and here we have a curve tracer. All right. Now this V2 plus isn't. That's in volts. I have to divide it by a hundred to get current. And you can see that at two volts, I'm only getting. Thirty-eight microvolts. 
Now, you might be thinking, since I've made such a big to-do about the series resistance. No, that's not the series resistance issue. That's really that this diode is different than the one we're actually using. All right. So in the next video, we'll do the same thing, but we'll do it in Scopey.